to my channel. So today I have for you a really simple drugstore friendly makeup tutorial. Uh, this is a holiday inspired look as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I came up with this look, definitely stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey guys! Alright, so first things first, I'm going to start off with my brows. First, start off by combing my brows out so that they're set in place for when I use my affordable brow whiz. So I'm using Ardell Brow Pencil in dark brown. This here I picked up from my uh, local beauty supply store, so you can probably find it there. I like to start from the outer sides of my brows. I like those darker and then the inner part I like lighter so I'll be using a different pencil for that one. Alright here now you see me using the lighter pencil for the inner brow. I'm using L'Oreal Brow Stylus in lighter black brown so it gives it that kind of ombre affected brow. Now I'm just brushing the brows out to sort of mix the colors together. Then I'll be taking my Elore Brow Control and Shape Gel. Alright, now moving on to primers. I'm using first the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This is such an important step. You really have to make sure that you use a primer before you apply your foundation to make sure that your foundation doesn't slide off your face or come off or anything like that. For me, I love this primer because it's really inexpensive and it really minimizes my pores. And then after that, I take my number 7 Beautifully Matte Primer. I love this primer. It really mattifies my face. I do not put this all over my face. I put it only in my oily spots like my T-zone and things like that. So please make sure when you're using this that you do not rub. You have to pat your primer but for primers in general I think you should use the patting motion rather than the rubbing motion alright so after priming the face I move to foundation so here I'm using the Revlon Colorstay foundation in caramel I love this this is for oily combination skin I do sometimes use the normal to dry skin in colder seasons like now but I really wanted to use this one because I'm almost out of it, so I wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> so I'm using a flat top kabuki type brush. This one is similar to the Sigma F80 brush, which I love, but this is a more inexpensive one. This is the Morphe S14 brush, so I love this. So to conceal my under eyes, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer. This is in the color Toffee, so as you can see, I put it underneath my eyes, on my forehead, nose, and chin, and then I start by first blending with my fingers. Then I take my Real Technique sponge and blend it in. This sponge, you guys, is so comparable to the Beauty Blender. I freaking love it. This was actually my first sponge before I even bought the Beauty the booty blender the beauty blender so I've been in love with it for quite some time now I'm taking my Morphe or this could be a Sigma I never can tell the difference a brush this here is like a tapered brush I love this brush to set my under eye concealer and I use my holy grail cover girl true blend powder in translucent tawny now, to set my whole face, I'm taking my Morphe S14 brush to set my whole face. I love this brush. This is from their vegan line. It is absolutely amazing. The only bad thing I have to say that it did break on me, so I had to glue the handle back together, but I don't know what to say about that. That was kind of disappointing. And the powder that I'm using, this is a new powder. This is the... NYX uh, Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder in Cocoa, so I use this to set my whole face. Next, I'm taking my favorite bronzer. This is CoverGirl's Ebony Bronze. Next, I'm taking my e.l.f. Brush Palette. 
As you can see, I'm using the lightest blush color. These don't have names to them. Then after I uh, place it, I like to blend it out to make sure that it's not too harsh. Now I'm taking my Physician's Formula and I'm highlighting above my cheekbones and a little bit on the temples on this um, side of my face. Now I'm taking my ColourPop eyeshadow and band it and placing this all over the lid. First I take my finger and then I use a brush and I blend that on the lid and a little bit on the crease. Now I'm taking a more darker brown by ColourPop. This is in the color Mittens. And as you can see, I'm using this as my crease color. So I start with the crease and then I work my outer V with it. And then I take a clean blending brush and kind of blend all the harsh lines and make both the eyeshadows kind of come together. For this whole look, I'm only using these two colors. So this is a really simple look and anyone can achieve it. I have uh, bigger eyes, as you'll notice. So if this is a really good look for those who have bigger eyes. Now I'm taking more of that bandit color and putting uh, it on my lids again because the blending kind of took it away. Now I'm taking mittens again, just a little bit, and blending it in the inner corner so that the color is all over the inner corner and the crease. Now I'm taking my NYX Ice Mocha and my inner tear duct. Then I'm lining my eyes. I have to say guys, I love this eyeliner. It's so inexpensive and it works just as great as a high-end eyeliner if not better. Now I'm taking my favorite mascara. This is Maybelline Last Sensational. This is just going to be for my top lashes to prep them for eyelashes. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner to line my bottom lash line. And I'm mainly doing this because I don't have a black lower lash pencil, so I'm just using that. Now I'm taking these eyelashes from Ardell. This is more of a thicker and longer eyelash, so I've had these for a bit of time, like I don't have the box anymore, so I don't know what style this is in, but any Ardell lash will do. Their Demi Wispy lashes are good, or their Glamour eyelashes are good as well. Now I'm just curling both the fake eyelashes and my eyelashes together so that there are no separations and then I'll take some more of my Lash Sensational to blend it. Now I'm using my NYX Wonder Pencil. This is in Nude to brighten and make my eyes appear more awake. Now I'm using the NYX Glitter Liner. This is in, I believe, Champagne. It's not the really gold one, it's just the champagne one. I'm putting this in my, a little bit in my lower lash line and my tear duct as well to create a bit of a pop and give that holiday themed glittery glamorous look <laughs> now i'm using my last sensational for the bottom lashes i lo lo love this eyelash mascara it's great now i'm lining my lips using the nyx lip pencil this is in the color burgundy, so I just line that and then fill it in. Now taking my NYX Butter Lipstick. This is in the color Mary Jane. I love this lipstick. It's such a pinup like red. It's gorgeous. Now I'm taking my NYX. Clearly, it's I clearly love NYX, right? <laughs> this is the mattifying spray. So just doing that. And I forgot to do my brow bone. To highlight my brow bone, I use the Walking on Eggshells palette. This is the color, it just says eyebrow. So I mix the eyebrow and the eyelid color together to create my perfect brow bone color. And that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!